What's up everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eric, I'm a software engineer and Google developer expert for Android. In this video, we will try to get started with Superbase. So what is Superbase? Well, Superbase is what we call a backend as a service. So it's a platform that helps you to create mobile or web application without having to create the backend side of your application. So it's something, it's a platform that is already ready to use. The only thing that you need to do is to connect your web or mobile application to the platform and you will be ready to go. If you are an Android developer, you may probably know about Firebase. Firebase is also a backend as a service. It's very, very popular. It's created by Google and it can provide you services such as authentication, real time database, etc. And you may ask you a question what can be the reason that can make me to choose Superbase instead of Firebase? Well, there is a couple of reasons. The first one is the fact that Firebase is tied to the Google Play services. So it means that Firebase can only work on a mobile device where the Google Play service is available. But it's not the case for any devices. So for example, you may plan to ship your mobile application to a country in which Firebase is not available or in which uh, the Google Play service is restricted. In that particular case, choosing Superbase can have much more benefit instead of using Firebase. And in this series of video, I will try to walk you through all the process you need to do when it comes to create your mobile application on top of Superbase. If you already have a Superbase account, you are ready to go. But otherwise, you have just to click on this green button, start your project. And you will see this form here. You have different options. You can sign up with your GitHub account or you can use your email and password to sign up to your Superbase account. If you don't have a Superbase account, you can click on sign up now and you will see a pretty simple form. You will just need to provide your email address and password and you will be ready to go. Once your Superbase account is created, now it's time to create your first project. So the project in Superbase, it's basically the same thing as a Firebase project. So we'll get the chance to create a couple of authentication instances inside the project, database instances, etc. So in our particular case, to create a project, you need to click on this new projects button. You have to choose the organization. In my case is Demo organization, or you can create your, a new organization if you want to. And in this particular case, your project need a name. So in my case, I will just remove the default name. I will use just uh, demo projects. And the second thing that you need to provide is the database password. So we'll try to see um, after when will be uh, what will be the purpose of this database password. So I will just use a dummy password. Right. Uh, let's say, okay, let me just keep this generated password and I will also need a region. So the region is basically the same thing as uh, when it's come to provide a region in the Firebase, the region where your, bat your database will be located. And lastly, you have to choose the plan. So in this particular case, we don't need to use the pro version of Superbase. So we can just keep using the um, free version of Superbase and just click on this create new project and we'll be ready to go. After a couple of moments, your project will be created and you will end up with this page with all the credentials you need to use when it's come to connect your mobile application to your Superbase project. So you have just to copy all those information somewhere in order just to keep them. And uh, by scrolling down, you will see a couple of clients, a couple of Superbase clients that already exist because like I have said, Superbase is something that can help you to create your mobile or web application without having to take care of about your backend. So there is already a couple of clients that is already available. So for example, if you are building an application using JavaScript, there is already a JavaScript client. If you are using Python, you can use the Python client. If you are using Flutter, you can use the Flutter client and there is a bunch of them that is already here you can try to read the documentation about them it's quite simple it's quite easy to use so let me just try to walk you through uh, all the things that you can see on this face page so here i'm in the uh, home page right so if you click uh, on this uh, second button here you will see a 
table editor so it's basically a section that will help you to create a new table so it's basically the collection if i have to make the analogy with uh, firebase firestore so let me just click on it and we'll try to see what we are going to have here so here the thing is we'll just try to create a simple table so we'll try to explore the whole section later but for now let's just try to create a simple table that we'll try to interact with in our mobile application so to create a table so it's basically um, like in mysql so just click on this green button here and you will need to provide the name of your table so in my case i can say to do table right the description is optional and something that is really interesting is the fact that you can enable the real-time uh, future of the superbase like i have said superbase is basically the alternative to firebase so it can allow you to use you know the same thing like uh, firebase firestore so you can do a couple of requests in real time in order to get advantage of that real time aspect of the database so i will try to enable it and click save once my table is created you can see there is already two columns that has been created by default the first one is the id because uh, i can assume that every single item in your into your table will have an id and another one is the created art so you can add some of them if you want by clicking this plus button you can let's say um, define a new column let's say it's a task name you can use the description and here the very interesting thing is the fact that you can define the foreign key it's basically like in my my, my sqlite uh, or any um, a sql um, a database management system you can define the foreign key here it's quite different from what you have already seen in uh, firestore because in firestore we don't have this principle of foreign key but in superbase you can use it and based on my experience it's quite flexible and here you can define the type right this uh, column can be an int it can be a float it can be a numeric, it can be a JSON, it can be a text, or it can be a UID. So there is a bunch of type here that you can use. It can be a Boolean. So you can choose something that suits the need that you are trying to accomplish here. So in my case, I can just use uh, a text, right? And it can be an array. You can define a default value. You can check this field as a primary key. For example, if uh, this particular column represents the ID, of uh, your table you can specify if this column is supposed to be unique you know just to avoid a couple of duplication and if uh, all the thing that you have provided here is okay you have just to click on save and you will be ready to go you can add as many columns as you want and the process is quite simple so that will be basically it for this first video in the next video we'll try to see how you can connect your superbase application your superbase project into your mobile application to start the interaction between those two projects see you in the next video